Henry and the Elephant. Henry and the Elephant. Henry and Gordon were lonely when Thomas left the yard to run his branch line. They missed him very much. They had more work to do. They couldn't wait in the shed till it was time. I'm and find their fa and find their coaches at the platform. They had to fetch them. They didn't like that. Edward sometimes did odd jobs, and so did James. But James soon started grumbling too. The fat controller kindly gave Henry and Gorn new coats of paint. Henry chose green, but they still grumbled dreadfully. We get no rest, we get no rest, they complained as they clanked about the yard. But the coaches only laughed. You're lazy and slack, you're lazy and slack, they answered in their quiet, rude way. But when in the circus came to town, the engines forgot they were tired. They all wanted to shunt the special trucks and coaches. They were dreadfully jealous of James when the fan controller told him to pull the train in when the circus went away. However, they soon forgot on about the animal as they had plenty of work to do. One morning, Henry was told to take some workmen to a tunnel which was blocked. Henry grumbled away to find two trucks to carry the workmen in and their tool workmen and their tools. Pushing trucks, pushing trucks, he muttered to him. He muttered in a sulky sort of way. They stopped outside the tunnel and tried to look through it, but it was quite dark. No daylight shone from the other, from the other end. The, work, the workmen took their tools and went inside. Suddenly, with a shout, they all ran and out, looking frightened. We went to the block and started to ding, but it grunted and moved, they said. Rubbish, said the foreman. It's not rubbish. It's big and alive. We're not going in there again. Right, said the foreman. I'll ride in the truck, and Henry shall push it out. Weesh, said Henry unhappily. He hated tunnels. He had been shut up in one once, but this was worse. Something big and alive was his hide. Beep, 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 he whistled. I don't want to go in. Neither do I, said his driver, but we must clear the line. Oh, dear, oh, dear, puffed Henry as he slowly he advanced into the darkness. Bump! Henry's driver shot off steam at once. Hell, hell, we're going back, wailed Henry, and slowly moving out into the daylight came first Henry, then the trucks, and last of all, pushing hard and rather cross, came a large elephant. Well, I never did, said the foreman. It's an elephant from the circus. Henry's driver put on the br Henry's driver put on his brakes and a man ran to telephone for the keeper. The elephant stopped pushing and came toward them. They gave him, him some sandwiches and cake, so he forgot he was cross and remembered he was hungry. He drank three buckets of water without stopping and was just going to drink another when Henry let off steam. <sighs> the elephant jumped and whoosh, he squirted water all over Hank. He squirted wa he squirted the water over Henry by mistake. Poor Henry. Hmm. When the keeper came, workmen rode home happily in the trucks, laughing at their adventure. But Henry was cross. An elephant pushed me. An elephant pushed me. He hissed. He he was sulky all day, and the coat in his coat just had an uncomfortable time. In the shed, he told Gordon and James about the elephant, and I'm sorry to say that instead of laughing and telling him not to be silly, they looked sad and said, "You poor agent, you have been badly treated."